Hi Stitchy friends! Welcome to my new home. This is my stitching room that's almost set up. I thought I'd give you a little quick tour first before we start our regular floss tube. So bear with me because I do have some things laying all over that I want to show you. I have so much I have to catch up on. But let me give you my little tour first and see if I can connect this to my actual floss tube. Here we go. This is as you come into my room. You know, I have little goodies all over. This is my happy place, obviously. A basket of whips. Isn't that normal? Some of my quilts, some of my stitching. Stitching box I made many years ago. My pillow I stitched a number of years back. It's my bookcase with most of my charts and my hardcovered books. This is a little something I made a couple of years back. Of course, it's Judy Stitching Bunny. Pillow I made over the during the pandemic. Stay safe and oh, I'm sorry. Stay safe at home and stitch. Made this for my husband a number of years back because we're big baseball fans. Take me out to the ball game. Uh, another container of whips. One of my antiques. Another antique. Some more whips. And some newly acquired goodies. This is an antique cabinet and an antique hoop I got from a friend. My front windows. With my, this is, is I know the light isn't uh, the best here. And it's a, the natural daylight, but it's not really pick, being picked up real well from with the camera. Some of my stitching lovelies that I'm very fond of. And my sign says I love stitching. This is one of my favorites. Some more of my goodies. My George decorates for Martha. And another stitching bunny, of course. Uh, some more um, projects. <laughs> There's another one back there. And this is my stitching station. And of course, you girls have seen my stitching chairs. My lamp is Estella, and I love it. I try not to have anything naked behind me, but you can see I haven't hung anything on the walls yet. That's going to be the last project, and we're still unpacking tons of boxes. So uh, this is just a box of my things I want to show you today. This is a box of very old whips, uh, antique whips, we like to call them, uh, that uh, <laughs> I dug up when I was unpacking. So I wanted to show you some of those. This is my uh, dedicated stamplers here. Uh, my major designers, you know, Plum Street, Hats, um, Needlework Press, Shakespeare's Peddler. They have their own boxes. The Blackbird was on one of the shelves on the other cabinet there that we passed before. And this is some more of my little treasures here. A couple of things stitched during COVID. And of course my corn dedication because we used to live across the street from a cornfield at the old house. Some more of my stitching things that I just love. That's our resident rat. Another uh, little one from COVID. And this is where I let Robbie sit. That's Robbie's chair. When he's up here. And some more storage and some of my collections. I also love cows, so you'll notice, and Winnie the Pooh, so you'll notice those things around. Now over here on the right, that open doorway is uh, a large closet. 
uh, that I'm halfway through um, setting up for my uh, storage. I have my DMC in there and all of my boxes of linen and that type thing. And then this is a piece de resistance and you kind of have to kind of look past the smudge marks on this. Rob's got to help me take the glass out of this and clean the inside because this had been stored in the basement for many, many years at the old house. I didn't have room for it upstairs. Um, but it's a display table that my late husband got for me. Um, and this has all things that I've stitched in here that are very, very near and dear to my heart. Um, so the glass needs to be cleaned though. And we got a couple of nice, real nice nicks in it from the movers. But um, that's my display table. And I love the way it looks in here. It's right in the middle of the room. The room is large enough where we don't have any trouble walking around it. Oh, and if you've noticed this big empty spot here under the window with the R in it on the uh, windowsill, that's Rosie's spot to look out across the street and bark at all the dogs that walk by. So I can't have anything there to get in her way because that's her window. So uh, the R actually is for Rubik, but, you know, Ros Rosie's taken over that window, so that's the Rosie window. Okay, I'm going to try and stop this now and see if I can go right to my regular floss tube. Keep your fingers crossed, ladies and gentlemen.